everyone, I thought I would do more of a vlog style video. Normally I like to try and get to the point in my videos, but this one's gonna probably be a little bit more rambling. So today we're doing a high-end car shoot, like fast cars and stuff. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out gear and what I wanna bring. The place is gonna be, it's indoors because it's winter right now. Um, and there's a bunch of cars kind of lined up in rows. And uh, so I'm trying to kind of go away from the standard, like leaning against the hood or like knelt down by a tire or something like that. Um, plus there's not a lot of room to do that in here because it's just like a small shop. Um, so what I want to do is shoot in like more interior of a car, maybe the door open, kind of get more close up, focus more on the model and then have kind of the car as like a prop. So I did a lot of research on YouTube to try and figure out how people light their cars with their models. But when I did like car model photography or something like that, then it just came up with like people lighting Hot Wheels cars or, or model cars. So couldn't really find a good one. So I thought I would kind of try and make one and um, give you some information on how I am going about doing it and maybe it'll help you in your car shoot if you do one. So for lighting, I'm going with a few different modifiers. I'm going bigger is better, especially with cars. Um, so I have a policy buff, a PLM umbrella. This thing opens up to uh, probably, I wanna say five feet-ish. It's the middle size. They have a smaller one, a, a middle size, and then a huge one. I think it's like seven feet. So I have that one. It's um, got the silver lining on the inside and I'm gonna bring the sock that goes with it just to really soften the light if I need to. Then I have another couple of smaller umbrellas. These guys that have kind of a wider um, shimmery translucent inside and then possibly an octobox. I have a 48 octobox and then I have a 36. I'll have to figure out which one I would bring. Probably the smaller one just in case. We're probably gonna, if we're gonna shoot inside the car. Um, that'll probably help. Um, that for a bunch of stands. As for lenses, I'm bringing my whole kit. Everything just is all packed away in a, in a Pelican case. Um, but I assume I'll probably use the 24 to 70 um, and possibly the 17 to 24 if we decide to get some really wide, kind of cool looking shots. Um, probably maybe use those two. I also have an 85-1-2 I just got that I really want to try out, but don't know how well that'll work if we're shooting interior of cars, but um, possibly try that one out too. As for lighting, I have the Explore 400 Pros, um, two of these, and bringing them, and then I have a couple, maybe three of these little uh, your Godox speed lights. Um, I'm bringing three of those, and then some gels, and yeah, that's it for what I'm bringing. So after the shoot, I'll probably do a recap video and go over what gear I actually used versus all the gear that I brought. Here is us setting up stuff. Pulled out the PLM umbrella uh, first off and then took a few shots to see what I was getting and then ended up pulling out a uh, Octobox with a grid on it just to use that as more of a key light and then use the uh, PLM as kind of like a fill light. It was looking pretty good except for the background was totally black. So I pulled out a speed light with a red gel and used that to light the background. Once I got the lighting looking pretty decent, we uh, played around with this pose until we got some shots that we wanted. Then we moved to the other side of the car and the idea was to have a shot with her hips and then the dashboard in the background. So I moved the big umbrella just to camera left but then we were really only just lighting the side of her and the dashboard was really dark. But I thought maybe overhead light would work, but I didn't bring a strong enough boom arm, so I had to use a small umbrella and that was just too small to really light anything. Plus I wasn't really liking the composition, it wasn't really telling a story or directing the eye anywhere, so we decided to change up the uh, pose. So we ended up changing the pose to her sitting facing out of the car, half in and half out. She's actually sitting on the frame of the car um, and then this one's being lit by a Octobox. I took the grid off of it so the light would spread more. Uh, there's a light, a flash shining on the back wall with a red gel in it, and then there's a flash shining on her right hand side as like a, a side light. So then we moved on to car two, 
And this one was really hard because I wasn't working with the ambient light. I was trying to put a bunch of lights around and light up all sides of the car, but I didn't have large enough modifiers or enough lights to do so. So it ended up looking just like I had set a bunch of lights all around the car randomly. So I ended up deciding to just put an Octabox behind me, give kind of a ring flash type of look. I did have a speed light with an orange gel on the inside to try and warm up the inside. I think I probably wouldn't do that again if I were to do this shoot again. It just ended up turning everything a little too orange and I had to kind of pull it back in post-processing. I noticed that the passenger rear window was down so I walked around to the other side of the car to uh, take some photos there to see what it would be like and they looked pretty awesome. Having the Octabox kind of give her a little bit of rim light looked really cool and kind of light up the in interior. So then I put a speed light shining through the front windshield, uh, lighting her up a little bit better. I also put a, another speed light with an umbrella shining along the passenger side of the car to kind of give it some texture and light the window a little bit. Hey everyone, so it's been a couple days later and I thought I would just kind of do a recap of uh, how I feel about everything. For what I had to work with, if I had to do it again, I think the one thing I would have done is worked with the ambient light a little bit better. I would have worked with the uh, fluorescence overhead. Uh, mostly what I was doing there is I was, is I was uh, stopping down my shutter speed as, as fast as I could go to kind of just bring out all the, amp or cut out all the ambient light and uh, use my, my strobes to light everything. That was very hard because I didn't bring enough strobes and I didn't have large enough light sources or modifiers to light everything I wanted. So I would have just worked with the, if I would have worked with the ambient light better, I think the photos would have turned out better. Um, I would have gotten a little bit more stylistic lighting in, in the cars and things like that um, if I would have just worked with the ambient light a little bit better. But I think they are good photos for, for the first time really shooting cars and for what I had to work with and um, I think I learned a lot and I'm pretty excited about the next car shoot and to kind of take some of the stuff I've learned and apply it to that next shoot. Hopefully you guys learned some stuff, hopefully you learned as much as I did. Um, hopefully I was able to teach you some things that you can use for your next car shoot and make yours a lot better from the start and then keep going up from there. But if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them and thanks you guys for watching.